Chapter 9 Inheritance Learning Target I can learn about inheritance. I can be familiar with terms like superclass, subclass, is a relationship. Now what is inheritance? If we look into the real world, inheritance means when one person, usually the child, acquires properties from another person, that's the parent. For example, a child inherits a car from the parent. So we take the same concept and apply it to uh, Java programming. So one class, usually the child class, acquires properties from another class, usually the parent class. Objects from all the related classes usually share some common behavior. For example, cars, buses, bicycles, they are all vehicles and they all provide transportation. Here's a picture of an inheritance hierarchy of vehicle class. We have motorcycle, we have car, we have truck, and all of these are vehicles. When we talk about car, a car could be of type sedan and SUV. So all of these are actually a vehicle, and they provide transportation. Inheritance definition. It is the relationship between a more general class, that's a superclass, and a more specialized class, that's a subclass. The subclass inherits data fields and behaviors from the superclass. For example, when cars share the common traits of all vehicles, the ability to transport people from one place to another. Inheritance terms. Now, when we talk about the terms, you, you need to know that there are some phrases that we will be using interchangeably in class. So when we talk about inheritance, we can create a new class based upon an existing class. The new class will have additional fields and methods. The new class that's based upon the original class is called as a, a subclass, a child class, or a derived class. And the original class is known as the superclass, or the parent class, or the base class. So we can use these words interchangeably. And in between these two classes, there is a relationship. And when we talk about that relationship, that is an is a relationship. Inheritance advantages. Inheritance lets you reuse the code between classes instead of duplicating it. The subclass inherits all the methods of the superclass. Now when we create classes that uses inheritance, here's the syntax. When we create a class, subclass name extends superclass name. And an opening brace and closing brace will have a new instance fields and then new methods. Now keep in mind extends is the keyword that tells that this class is inheriting from this class. Example, we have public class savings account that extends bank account. Then we have new methods for it and new instance fields for it. Is a relationship. The relationship between a subclass and a superclass is called an is a relationship. So person is a superclass. Student and teacher, they are the subclass. Student and teacher are extending the person class. And we have junior class, senior class, and they both are extending student class. Computer teacher, a math teacher, and they both are extending the teacher class. So when I say there's a relationship, it means that a student is a person. Teacher is a person. But we cannot say a person is a teacher. Because a person can be a teacher, astronaut, computer engineer, doctor. A person could be anything. So a student is a person. Teacher is a person. Junior is a student. Senior is a student. Computer is a teacher, math is a teacher. Class hierarchy, UML. Now this diagram that you see in here is called as UML. This is the diagram where each class is represented with rectangle and are connected with arrows to show the is a relationship between the inherited classes. Now parent class is drawn at the top of the chart Solid lines with solid arrowhead is drawn from the child class to the parent class that it extends. This tells is a relationship. The dotted line with solid arrowhead is used to point from a class to an interface that it implements. Now we'll learn that in chapter 10. 
Classes in the same level of hierarchy chart are called siblings. Student and teacher are siblings. Junior, senior are siblings. Computer and math teachers are siblings. Is a relationship. Now when we take a look at this UML diagram and we have a person as superclass, student and teacher as a subclasses, we can say that student is a person but not necessarily a person is a student because a person can be a student or teacher, an astronaut, a doctor or engineer. Now let's take a look at our junior and senior classes. Junior is a subclass of student and if a student is a subclass of person then we can say that junior object is a person. Let's take an example here. Person Jose equals to new student. Now if you take a look at the statement Jose is declared as a person reference but Jose is instantiated as a student object. So only the methods found in the person class can be invoked. If Jose is casted to a student then the methods from the student class can be invoked as well.